UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I separate kickbox the high level yeah. of everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Hard tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 236 pounds. Fighting out of Indianapolis, Indiana, big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful strike. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, here's the head kick, it's blocked. Both fighters throwing heat now. He got to whip his hip into that kick. Oh, 
Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the legs, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Nice counter right hook there. Well placed kick there by Lee. Oh, leading with the right hand. You don't see that every day. It was certainly effective for him there. If you're going to throw your power hand first, you got to be very aware not to be caught. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, spinning back for lands. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab. After jab, after jab, he's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice loop and punch. You got to check these low leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. <laughs> Unable to connect there. Over and over, landed a big body kick. Lee's kick blocked. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, he turns off the top, he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Left hand counter. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that. Big leg kick land. What a body kick. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Great punch landing with so much power. Ooh, what a head kick. Right hook to the head blocked. Outstanding kick there by Lee. 15 seconds remain in the round. Attempts the front kick there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Round two straight ahead. Oh. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish the fight. Good stick. Beautiful counter with the punch there and 
certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Dictated the fight with a jab. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight today. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Head kick. Oh, big left hook there. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice strike. Connects with a right. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. I mean, he's cut them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop him. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Good punch, land. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Big kick lands. <laughs> Trying to find a home for that right hand. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Pretty significant well to the left side. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Cash money with that right hand counter. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use. To really slow down your opponent. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Head kick lands. Ten seconds to go. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. Ooh, what a punch. Slips the shot. 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nice body push. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Missed with that right hand. Huge block there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Real sneaky body kick. With that punch, no good. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lee's a strike attempt there is blocked. Whiffs on the straight right hand. That's a big hook. Just over three minutes to go in round three. What a punch. And now he lands a combination. Oh, big left. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Head kick. Beautiful punch. Right punches there. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needed to go. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the belt. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Great punch. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of this. Lighten up his opponents left and right. Muay Thai plump. And now he's got the tie clinch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Misses again with a right punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, no Telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a Telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA 
UFC. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Working out of that southpaw stance. Beautiful body kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Big body kick. Big kick lands. The right hand just misses. Real quick leg kick. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Nice straight punch. Big body kick lands. Just misses with a left hook there. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Nice kick. Nice head kick. Under three. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Punch coming is blocked. Left hand punch is clinch. And they separate. Big head kick lands. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. And now he counters with a right hook to the head. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxing going back and watching this guy and going, Wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Your defense. Your defense Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Oh, he counters beautifully with a straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like that, DC. You can't prevent it. Right hand on point. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Slips to avoid the right. 20 seconds left. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, 
single collar tie here. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice head kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up, or he's going to go good night very soon. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Way to hide that leg kick. Straight right, he misses. Tags him with a flush left. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Blocks the shot. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. And here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute, three seconds of round number five. He's playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.